And this afternoon, we're starting off from Parliament because in the House, as they prepare to rise for the Easter break today, a uh, clarion call is coming through from uh, some of the MPs on the majority side, asking their colleagues across the aisle to support three government revenue measures that are critical to Ghana's uh, International Monetary Fund bailout for Doma East. Uh, MP Paul Chum Berima. He believes that it, there is a need uh, for the NDC MPs to back government's measures. Uh, he's also been touching on the need uh, for some consensus in the House to support the economic recovery of the uh, country. Let's get more from our parliamentary correspondent, Kweku Asante, who's joining us now via Zoom. Kweku, thank you for your time here on the poll. So the House preparing to rise. Are we clear now on when the Speaker will be taking the uh, questions on these three essential tax measures? Normally when Parliament is about to rise, they sit very deep into the night. I'm such controversial measures are almost always taken when the House is just about to go on recess. So the questions have not been put. In fact, the Speaker himself, Urban Bagman, is not in the chair. His Deputy Speakers have been taking turns. There have been questions and answers from ministers, interior minister, foreign affairs minister, they've all been here to answer questions. Currently, MPs are paying tribute to the member of parliament for Kumewu who passed on last Tuesday. It is expected that these taxes will be taken today. The majority side have indicated they are to go ahead and take these tax measures. Government side hope that the minority will join them to be able to get this tax message, tax bills through. So if anything that we've seen with the way Parliament works is anything to go by, later, deep into the night, these new tax measures will be taken, maybe after 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 6 o'clock, getting to 8 o'clock, sometimes even at midnight. But all indication is that the tax measures will be taken before Parliament will go on its Easter break. Uh, and uh, what's the minority's account on this? Are, are they beginning to shift their position or, or possibly... Uh, open to the idea of um, supporting some, if not all, of the tax measures. So there's a so hardline stance on both sides, the minority in particular insisting that they will not approve these tax measures. The government side have, over the past few days, been trying to negotiate, been trying to get some arrangement, some agreement to see if they can get the minority to support them to pass this. They've not barged down. So it appears the majority side may want to go ahead with its own numbers to get this done. And they can actually do so if they have all their MPs on the floor. We know that this week, unfortunately, they lost one of their colleagues, the Honorable MP for Kumehu, Philip Basua. That shortens their numbers to 136. But with the independent MP focusing on them, they get 137. If they are able to bring all 137 MPs to Parliament today, they'll be able to get these measures through because the NDC only have 136 because of the absence of the Senate and who has been junctured by the Supreme Court. And that's the story you'll get to later. So if the government side are able to get all 136, 137, I beg your pardon, of eight MPs in Parliament today, these new tax measures, the three outstanding, which government expects will rake in about 4.2 billion Ghana cities, is a prior action, it's a prerequisite to getting this IMF bailout to go through without the support of the minority. Uh, from, from, from what we're experiencing in Parliament now, uh, d does it look like uh, the majority side has the full complement of, the, of, of their side uh, in any event to support the passage of the bill if, it, if the question is taking today? Well, the only one person that we haven't seen yet is John Fabinia MP, Sarah Juasafo. She's not around yet. She was here yesterday. Our understanding was that she's, she was going to come every now and then to support government business. But she has not come to parliament yet, as of, as of now. Normally, on the floor now, there are a lot of empty seats. But we understand MPs are in, in, within the precincts of parliament. You will notice, when you look at the MPs car park, you see that there are, there, there's a sea of vehicles, which is parked over there, meaning that the MPs are around. Some of them in the offices, some of them at the coffee shop, just are waiting for the bell to be rung, just are waiting for the indication to be given that these new tax measures are set to be taken on the floor, then they will all walk into the chamber. And so now the chamber is a little bit empty, but we know that the MPs are around. The only key thing, the only person that we cannot confirm is around, is MP for Don Kabinyasara, who is not around as of now. But if all the indications have been given 
within this week is anything to go by. It is expected that she will be here to support government get this through. And that is why some of the NPP MPs are already speaking and making the indication that they want this um, tax measures to go through. They want their colleagues on their minority side to support them. Uh, and a lot has been happening on the floor uh, as we speak. Uh, you were talking about Mr. Bazwa, who unfortunately has passed away. Uh, a lot uh, of messages have been pouring in for, for the kind of a person he was. Um, is that likely to slow the business for today, even as Parliament is rising? Not, not at all. Said businesses are done to just call the time to get both sides to get a compliment of their MPs before they get into the the real business. These are also very important ones because MPs are very, very sudden as, as, as to the loss of their colleague. And just now, I'm just getting a message from one of my colleagues here that I just have MP for them Kabina is actually in parliament now she's arrived, which will give the NDP the needed 137. That is, if they are able to get all the other 136 to come in, it will just give them the free, the free passage to be able to go through. But normally, such statements such commemorative statements, such statements about the death of colleagues and other person. It's just to, while away the time, to get the compliment to try and see if the negotiations that are going on on the side will be completed so that MPs can come on the floor for these critical businesses. And today, the three outstanding tax measures to be taken. And the last time we heard from any government official on this was the information minister talking about how crucial these key revenue measures are to the IMF program. A any update on the floor as to how far or close or otherwise we are to securing this bailout? So because government has said that some of these measures are prerequisite, it, there, there's no information that has come to MPs as to the timelines. Parliament, uh, the government expected initially that by then, by the close of day today, they would have gotten an IMF deal. This is the last day in March. Government hoped that was going to get a deal by the end of March. But as of now, that deal hasn't gone through. We saw the, uh, the board schedule for IMF. Ghana was not included on the list of countries that was to be considered. The finance minister only last week actually traveled to China and met the Paris club as part of getting their support to some debt forgiveness arrangements. It is up to Ghana now. And according to Kojo Kong from a parliament, needs to do its bit to uh, assure the IMF that government is keen on getting some of these taxes through to be able to assure the IMF that government can raise the needed revenue to be able to pay back. Government has a shortfall in terms of revenue, but they expect that these three tax measures, when they go through, expectation that it will be raising about 4.2 billion cities to be able to, uh, to close the, 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 the gap in terms of the amount Government able to do. Minority of these are the same messages that government put out when it wanted the IMF the the, the one point five percent e levy to be approved. They insisted that if it was not approved, government was going to struggle, and government was even going to go to the IMF. Eventually, the I, uh, e levy was approved, and government still went to the IMF. So the minority said they are not convinced about the argument. The my, majority side and government have been. So far, for which reason they are going to reject these tax measures. But as things stand down, if the government side are able to get all their MPs in, par in Parliament today, they'll just get this. Mm. Uh, uh, and uh, we'll be crossing over shortly um, to get what it is uh, that Parliament's de decision will be on uh, as far as the uh, key revenue measures are concerned. Uh, we're keeping our eyes um, on the floor for you. Kukwasanti will be joining us. Uh, back to give us an update on this. You're watching the Pulse in. Uh,